Hey guys, welcome back to another great episode of Stovetop Yum Yum. Today I'm going to be making my famous B and C cheddar soup. That's right, broccoli and cauliflower cheddar soup. And this episode starts right now. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm back and as I mentioned today, I'm making my BC cheddar soup. Broccoli cauliflower cheddar soup. Yum, yum. You guys are going to love this. I'm going to show you the ingredients so we can get started. All right, here we go. All right, we've got as for our ingredients, we're going to be using four cups of chicken stock, two large carrots shredded, which are equal to a 10 ounce bag of shredded carrots. I have a pint of heavy cream, which is two cups. I've got extra eight ounces. We have 16 ounces, so half of this bag of extra sharp cheddar. You want to use sharp cheddar for this soup. Yum, yum. Uh, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, salt, pepper, a quarter teaspoon, quarter teaspoon, quarter teaspoon. I have a, a medium onion, three cloves of fresh garlic. Four tablespoons of AP flour, all-purpose flour, and four tablespoons of unsalted butter. And I have some green onion greens to garnish because you guys know that I am a garnish girl. So there are the ingredients. So guys, I'll meet you at the stove and let's get cooking. Okay guys, I'm back. This is so simple and so incredible. I'm going to lower my camera here to our little Dutch oven that I have here. We are going to start by dropping in our butter. So remember, butter will burn and become very brown. We don't want that in this soup. So I'm going to pour about a teaspoon of VO juice in order to avoid our butter burning. Okay, so we're going to do that. We'll start with that. I'm going to grab myself my cute little spatula, one of the ones that my son gave me with the little measurements on it. So cute. All right, so we're letting our butter melt. So remember, we're going to sweat our onions first. And what do I always say? We need a little bit of salt in order for our onions to become translucent quicker. So we're going to grab our onions. Wow, you hear that? Hear that beautiful sound, guys? Grab our onions. We are going to grab our garlic. It's already starting to smell delicious in here. Oh my goodness. Let's grab a little salt. Just a pinch. Some pepper. I love this cute little salt and pepper device. So awesome. And it lights up. Oh my God. Okay, guys, so we've got, we are sweating our onions. It'll probably take about three minutes max to sweat our onions. We have our ingredients. We are going to use quarter teaspoon of onion powder. Same for the garlic powder. Grab your measuring spoons if you need to, guys. I've been doing this for a long time, so grab your measuring spoons, and I'm going to add some paprika, or of that. I'm going to add some mustard, ground mustard, which I don't remember if I mentioned or not. Quarter teaspoon of ground mustard, and we're going to continue. Oh, it's so fragrant. It smells so delicious, you guys. Whew. Look at how beautiful that's starting to look. You guys see that? Okay, so now that our onions our sweat. You see how, how shiny they are? Can you guys see that? Okay. Now we have six ounces, half, of, okay, we're going to get a six ounce, excuse me, a 12 ounce bag of broccoli florets. We're going to coarsely chop it, you guys. And below that I have my cauliflower coarsely chopped. So we're going to get six ounces of each. So if you buy a 12 ounce bag of each, half a bag of each. I'm going to go ahead and not throw that in there yet. Hold on. Sorry about that. We are going to throw our flour in first to make our roux. I apologize for that. 
Alright guys, so now we're making our famous roux, which is our thickening agent. Alright, you guys see that again? Our thickening right here. Okay, so now guys, we are going to slowly pour in our chicken stock. Be careful with that facial now. Just back away. Woo! And we got to stir, 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 guys. Stir, stir, and stir. See how that, see how that thickened? Do you see that? Oh my goodness. Okay, we got our four cups in there of our chicken stock. You can use vegetable stock if you'd like. I, I personally prefer to use chicken stock. Now we're going to drop our veggies in there. Our broccoli and look at our coarsely chopped cauliflower. You guys see that? We're going to simmer that for about 10 minutes. I'm also going to grab the carrots are going to add sweetness. I'm going to go ahead and use half of this bag. I'm not going to use the whole bag. So we're going to drop in half a bag of these beautiful matchstick carrots. And we're going to stir that in. We're going to let this simmer for about 5 to 10 minutes in order to let this uh, soften up the vegetables. Let them cook, which won't take long at all. So I am going to put a lid on it, you guys. And when I come back, we are going to put our heavy cream into this concoction and extra sharp cheddar cheese. You guys, this is so warm and so inviting. This is such a delicious and easy soup. You don't want to miss this, you guys. I'll be right back. Hey, guys, I'm back. Our five, five minutes have passed. Wow. Look how that's starting to look, guys. Look at that. How does that look? I haven't even put my cream in yet or our cheese. So, you know, we, 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 that's the reason why. See how beautiful that green color of the broccoli? Look at this. Look at how beautiful that is. You see that? Look at the beautiful green color we keep on our broccoli. We want it to cook, but we don't want to destroy it. You understand? We want it to have some texture. So now, guys, I'm going to grab our, our heavy cream, our pint, which is equivalent to two cups. If you have uh, a bigger one than this, just measure two cups. This is two cups. Wow. Oh my goodness gracious me. How beautiful and warm is that? You know, if it's really cold where you are right now and it's just so warming and so easy to make, you guys, we're going to simmer this again. Now we're going to thicken it with our cheese. Our cheese is going to thicken it. Okay, guys? That's beautiful. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Although you guys are great always commenting, so I appreciate that so much, and I love you guys so much. Hey, and if you want to use the whole bag of cheese, go for it. I'm not sure if I will, but hey, I might. No, I won't use the whole bag. I'll use a nice heaping half a bag, so half a bag in a little bit. Because I just roll like that. You know, I normally put half a bag in a little bit. I call it a heaping half a bag. <laughs> look at this, guys. So we're going to, when I come back, look at that, guys. How's that starting to look? So I have it on one above medium. I'm going to cover it. Whoa. I'm going to simmer it, guys, for about another five minutes. That was the... Uh, the evaporation of the water on the lid that fell on the stove. So I'm going to simmer this for about another five to ten minutes, guys. When I come back, we're going to plate and taste. And wow, how easy was that, you guys? It's so delicious. You don't want to miss this, you guys. I'll be right back. Hey, guys, I'm back and our soup is ready. Check this out. How beautiful is that? Wow, so let's serve myself some. Look at that, you guys. Oh my God, so creamy and so easy to make and so beautiful. Oh boy, I'll tell you. Mm-mm-mm. Let me get some broccoli there. Got some there. Turn our stove off. I'm going to clean my plate because I am a chef and that's what I do. 
and my presentation to me is everything. All right, so now I'm going to garnish with some green onion and a tiny bit of cheddar. That. Actually, I have a surprise for you guys. Hang on a second. A little more cheese. Look what I did, guys. When you're chopping your broccoli for beautiful plating, when you're chopping your broccoli, make sure that you grab two of the floor, two or three of the florets that you chop, put them in a glass with hot water, and it'll keep its beautiful green color, you guys, and it will be beautiful on your plate. Look at this, guys. Look at that hot bowl of soup. Is that like amazing or what? Oh my God, oh, it's time to try it. How, how easy was that? Ow, this is really hot, you guys, very hot. So I'm gonna grab some piece of broccoli and I used, you can use sharp cheddar. I used extra sharp cheddar, yum. My mouth is watering, guys. This is super duper hot. Oh, I don't know why I get so short of breath. Stuff is so good. Mm, about to lose it. Mm. 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 Oh my God. So delicious. It's not your typical broccoli cheddar. We have cauliflower in it, so it's my BC cheddar soup. You can taste the sweetness of the carrots, the onion, the garlic, that extra sharp cheddar, broccoli, and the cauliflower is cooked perfectly. It has texture to it. Oh my God. So you see the creaminess with that you that it adds to it, of course, with the heavy cream. You guys, I gotta try again just to make sure. <laughs> Hang on a second. Let's grab a nice, beautiful piece of broccoli right here. Oh my God. This is like absolutely redonkadonk. I have no other word for it. So warming. Mm. <clears throat> Your kids will love this. Mm. Oh my God. I don't know many kids that don't like broccoli with cheese. It's so delicious and they have the cauliflower, the carrots, all the veggies in there with that cheese and the creaminess. So delicious on a cold winter night or I'm here in Florida so it's not cold here. We have like all four seasons here. Yeah, we do. Cold up north, medium in the middle so so here and hot in the south so go figure i don't know but anyway you guys always remember this is easy this is wonderful you can do it with your family it's so warming the kids will love it such a great versatile soup to make like i said it's not your typical broccoli cheddar soup but in a way it kind of is but I add my personal touches to it. So it's my BC cheddar soup, broccoli cauliflower cheddar soup. Yum, yum. You need to try this. Let me know in the comments what you think as you always do. And remember you guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to comment. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. If not, what are you waiting for? Sub smash that subscribe button. Don't forget the bell and don't forget to hit all so you don't miss any episodes, you guys. My two secret ingredients, as I always say, are passion and love. With those two ingredients, I don't care what you look like. I don't care where you come from, what your kitchen looks like. Your recipe will not fail with those two main ingredients. I repeat, will not fail. So remember, you guys, stay positive, love one another, and I wish you always the best. And as always, au revoir. I love you. Los quiero. 
And until the next great episode of Stovetop Yum Yum, I will be back and I will see you guys then. Take great care, you guys. Bye. Thank you.